I'm Fernanda and this is my winter capsule wardrobe recap. So I recently created my very first capsule wardrobe. I am at the end of my first three month run. The reason why I started a little bit later than everybody else was because it was my first time ever and I just joined when I had the time. I thought it would be interesting to share some of my thoughts of my first experience before going into the spring. Because if you're a first timer, there's a lot of things to consider. So first of all, I wanted to share that even though I had a reduced number of pieces in my wardrobe, I still didn't wear every single piece. So it made me think maybe there's just some items in your wardrobe that you'll never wear because you'll go to your things that make you more comfortable over and over again. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if that was just my experience or if that was everybody's. So if you had something similar, please comment below because I would love to hear about you guys. I find it a little bit difficult to have your the rest of your clothes away, packed away. I do like the fact that you don't see them, but then I had to go on a trip in the middle of the winter to a warmer place, and then I had to go through all of my stuff to pick what I was going to take on the trip, and that was kind of a pain in the butt, to be completely honest. One thing I didn't like about it is how often I had to do laundry, because girlfriend hates doing laundry. Hates it. But, you know, with only 33 items, you're doing laundry almost every, like, week or 10 days. It doesn't take me long, it's just like, I'd rather if I didn't have to do it that often, which is honestly part of the reason why I had a lot of clothes before. Another thing I noticed is that my clothes started to wear a lot quicker. And I think that has to do with the fact that I was washing them a lot more often and I didn't have a lot of stuff, so I wasn't washing, you know, separate colors very often. And they started creating, you know, the, the lint that your clothes get. So that's something definitely to keep in mind, that you have to be very mindful of the fabrics that you pick because certain synthetic fabrics actually get a lot more damage from a lot more wear. To me, one of the things that was most exciting was seeing my closet with such few things and being able to see everything and finding everything fast. And second, just knowing exactly what I have and just being able to look for it pick it and then go go ahead and get dressed. It's so much easier to get dressed in the morning. It's so much easier to not have to think about it, to be creative. Like I found certain combinations with my clothes that I had never occurred to me. And then those are the ones that I got more compliments on. So that was really fun. And it also made me a better shopper. I started shopping for my spring capsule wardrobe and I realized that I didn't actually need to buy anything because my current wardrobe that was boxed up was more than enough. I was way more selective about the things that I was potentially purchasing than I've ever been before in my life. For the purposes of my winter capsule wardrobe, I didn't count any hats, scarves, gloves, or my outer wear. And the reason why I did that was because it was so cold, I thought I need to wear them. Like it's not even an option, so what's the point in counting them? And actually, I think that was a good choice on my end because if I had counted those five items, because you're supposed to count accessories, then that would have been five items in my wardrobe that I wouldn't have been able to use over and over again. If you're about to start your first capsule wardrobe, something that I would really recommend is to take time to pick pieces that really make you happy and feel special. Clothes that fit well or the fabric looks good. Overall, I would definitely recommend that you try it. If this is something that is interesting to you, give it a shot. Trust me, just put aside that afternoon and pick your first 33 just based on your closet. Trust me, you do not need to shop. You would be amazed how much you can do with the stuff that you already have and give it a go. It's definitely a great jumping off point into minimalism and into reducing. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you found this information useful and I would love to hear what you have to say. If you're just visiting and you just stumble across this video, first of all, welcome. Second of all, please don't forget to subscribe. There's a button over here that you can click and it actually helps me out a lot. So click it if you're interested in more capsule wardrobe videos, hacks, all of those things that I do. You can find me anywhere on the internet. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm also on Snapchat, but I'm just learning how to use it. So I'll tell you about that one later. Uh, and you can contact me whenever I love hearing from you guys and I love answering questions and I love the community aspect of YouTube so don't be afraid to reach out thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday with the spring capsule wardrobe that I recently picked bye